Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Harika. So in today's video, I am going to show you how you can actually convert a data table into JSON array and add that into a queue item. So mostly we encounter some kind of rare situations where if at all we wanted to add items into the queue, which are of type JSON array, right? So basically we deal with data tables or Excel tables, but how to convert this into the JSON array using code is one challenge that I'm going to solve in this video. And the second thing is how we will transfer that into the queue item, okay? So talking about that, let's simplify the scenario. So let's say you have your requirement like this, okay? So you wanted to, if you see here for Banjara Hills, there's a location. For Banjara Hills, you have four line items. And for Sikindrabad, you have three line items. For Jubilee Hills, you have three. So you wanted to add a single item into the queue, single transaction item into the queue where you have uh, specific with respect to the location. So let's say if I put up here, if I filter it out with respect to Banjara Hills, right? So in this case, so instead of adding this separately as one, two, three, four, five, six line items, I wanted to add this completely as a single item in the queue. So that's the requirement uh, that we are going to achieve. So before to that, uh, we have to make sure we have we should convert this into a JSON, right? So let's say I will go to my chat GPT. And let's say here I have my complete file, okay? Or let's take only this, okay? And then I ask my chat GPT, create JSON for the values. Okay, so it's gonna put up the JSON values over here. So how, what I can actually do, I can, Take this values, just I will show you. Uh, I'm gonna take one text file. Okay, put this over here, JSON array. Okay. So what actually happens every time is we will directly use this values and push them. But now I want these values in an array, like that means I just will say create a JSON for below values. Okay. So if you see here, I'm going to copy this whole thing and put it over here. And this will create me a JSON array. That means it will have an array of five rows, five elements. Right. So if you see here, this is a JSON array. Right. So this is the place where the array starts and this is one and separated with a comma and this is second one, right? So I'm gonna copy this whole thing, put it over here in the notepad. Okay, so just will save this as we need it, okay? Fine. So now what I'm going to do, so let's say we should read that particular notepad data. So I'm going to use read text file. And JSON array dot text. Okay. So I'm just taking the output of this into a SDR array. Perfect. So now I will transfer this into the queue as a single transaction item. So for that, I'm using add queue item. Okay, so into which queue I want this to go. Okay, Amazon search items, just, just for uh, the difference, I just kept that. And the value, okay, so let's say if the key I'm giving as queue data, and the value is my string that I am reading from the notepad. Okay, so let's run this and see what happens when I uh, execute this. Okay, so it's getting executed. Oh, 
perfectly done. So now if we go into the Q and C, the data over here, view transactions. Okay, there's one new item. If I view the details, you can see here, there is a Q data and this is an array, right? This is the array, what I have sent it over there. Perfect. But now the requirement is, how can you, this, this uh, whole thing I have created using chat GPT, I just kept it in the notepad. But my requirement is, I wanted to convert the data that's there in the data table into the JSON array by using some code, right? So how can I do that? So once after that's done, the same string can be utilized and we can send it over to the queue. So that part is clear, right? So let's go back. Till this part it's clear. So what I am going to do here, I should group them. So based on whatever the location I have, I'm gonna group them. So if it's this location, I will get this particular set of data, right? Uh, so let's say if I copy this whole data, copy it and put it over here, right? In the sheet three. So now after grouping everything, I have certain data kept it kept in a separate groups. So now I'm going to read the sheet three data. So let's go to the studio and let's add an activity, read range workbook. And here I am reading it from. So this is basically in my desktop master link pivot. Okay. Under sheet three. It is under sheet three, which I have grouped using that particular location. Just I will pass this, the output as the data DT location. Okay. So this particular data, I wanted to convert it into the JSON because I cannot directly send it into my queue because if I send it directly into the queue, it cannot be taken as a string because it is coming as a data table. So how can I convert this into the string and pass it? So for that, we need to write a code. So I'm taking an assign activity. So what is the input for the string that we have given? It's str array. So I'm keeping that as it is. And here you have to mention newtonsoft dot json dot json convert so we are converting this into a json and we are serializing this serialize the object so what is the input for that data table we are passing the data table and we are converting that into the json that's it so this will be converted and we can pass this into our queue and this gets added over there so let's do this Sheet three, I'm closing. Okay. So we should see that there should be one more item that get added into the queue. So execution has done. View details. Perfect, right? So we have got the JSON array that got added into the queue. So perfect. So this is one way of doing it. So if at all we have an array, right, JSON array, how we can convert that particular data table into the JSON and add those items into the queue. So this is the way you can do it. So it, it is similar to whatever items that you have. And the next part is how we can fetch these values. So you have already added, right? You have serialized, you have converted that into the JSON and you have added. So what is the next step? How can you fetch these values from this particular queue item? And you and also you have to make sure that you fetch all the items. Like this array contains five items, right? Five items are there in this particular array. So how you can loop through, how you can get this all items from that particular array. So how we can actually achieve this. So I am going to make a separate video on this part as a part two. 
as a continuation of this so do not miss that please do subscribe and also stay tuned to my channel and also if you like this videos and if you found them informative do consider subscribing if you haven't yet and also like the video share across your friends thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video